Hey guys. All right. Good afternoon. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. It's 4:40. I am boogieing to get in. We were running a little bit late because, um, yeah, parking on the roof this time. I haven't been parked on the roof. I think, think since the first. This is the second time, maybe. No, first time I think we ever came to Universal, we parked on the roof. Since then, never. This is crazy. Anyhow, which says it's just going to be packed. Holy crap. Oh, I just hit a cone. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, well. Um, I didn't hit it. It just, like, ran over the corner. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, anyway, it's going to be crazy busy today. That's not a good thing. So, it's also gorgeous. Oh, it's... What is this? Uh... Columbus Day weekend, so I guess people don't have to go to work tomorrow, some of them. Mm, no bueno. So anyway, um, going to meet the girls, and uh, we are meeting up in Diagon Alley, and we're meeting with a new friend, Jennifer, today, who has never gone to HHN, because she can't find anybody to go with her, and has, even though she's an annual pass holder, has never gone on Gringotts. What? So we are taking her, which is so awesome to go with somebody for the first time because it's one of those rides that you're like, oh my gosh. Okay, yeah, not only the very top, but the very end of the world as we know it. Oh, people who just park randomly who are a scourge on the nation. Anyway, uh, yeah, so I was just, do you even park? Okay, there we go. Uh, anyway, what? So, uh, yeah, parking, whatever, not my problem. Uh, that's it, and I will see you all in a few minutes. Whoops, sorry, that was my finger on there. Okay, so I have to say, not only is it really crowded, but I just saw the funniest thing ever. There were three ladies my age, about twice the size of me, all in workout clothes, that were each, all three, carrying one of the huge, humongous Simpsons lard lad donuts. <laughs> I was like, hmm, <laughs> might not have to work out so hard. Just saying. Not judging, just saying. It was pretty funny though. I was like, that was cute. <laughs> All right guys, since it's daytime, I thought I'd grab some for you. <laughs> oh, he smells like smoke. Patrick, this one is free. He's bringing me 
back to high school and lunches. Okay, these people just ordered the banana cake that's like 12 feet tall. And the guy is, this is the guy's behind. There it is. Can you see it? And then, and then that is so crazy. It's a banana cake with like bananas and everything. Okay, I got chopped salad. All right. You can't see it. That's my steak. Test for NBC. Okay, never again. You see this? This is insane. We have to get back in the security line to be able to get it. I say we go this way. I say so too. Okay, just have to say this is the day of my jams because we're at Bill and Ted's and now they're playing Can't Touch This. What? My song. <laughs> Okay, just finished Bill and Ted's and it was awesome. You can't see me, but that's okay. And we got to take pictures with them. And they smelled really good even after a sweaty gross <laughs> sweating on us, but they smelled really right. So it was awesome as usual. Well kids, this is the end of our Halloween Horror Nights. It was so awesome. Hi guys, so it was a fabulous night tonight. Um, really, just really great. We met up with the girls, we went to NBC Grill and Brew. Um, not only that, but it was also really cool because um, we, while we were sitting there, the trackers were upstairs, which we didn't want to say hi to them because they were in the middle of eating and that's really rude. So, um, I mean, some lady was already bothering them and we're like, oh, really? But, Anyways, we saw them, we go downstairs and get our table and food, whatever. The next thing we know, Tim tweets out that Joey Fatone is upstairs at Brew and Grill, and we were so focused on them, we saw that whole group that he was with, never realized it was Joey Fatone, which is really hilarious. And then on top of that, um, we found out, or then they had the, well, I got the you know the big blue screen they were testing that that happened while we were inside and we're like how is this all happening and we don't get to see it then we got to get our picture with bill and ted from bill and ted's excellent adventure so i'll probably put those pictures in here at some point or just have i'm not too sure yet it's three o'clock in the morning so i really have no idea but i wanted to address something oh and then i got to meet kyle and mary from the cheap seats which was really cool and they were um vlogging josh's vignette with the caretaker which was very cool Anyway, it was just awesome night. Really, really fun. And those girls are awesome. But that's what I wanted to say. Like, I know when we moved down here, a lot of people were like, wait, Halloween Horror Nights? Why is that a thing? Why is that why you guys are going? And um, if it wasn't for Halloween Horror Nights, um, I wouldn't have met the people that I met because we kind of all met each other because each of us was going individually and didn't want to. So I get to meet those people. Josh has made great friends that he's had um, for the exact same thing. So that's why, <laughs> because it's all part of the plan. So on that note, I am going to bed. I will see you guys tomorrow. Night.